breathe deep with the reduction. Continue now with our lead story, President Obama sending 1,200 National Guard troops to the border with us. Uh, Dr. Mark Lamont Hill teaches at Columbia University. Okay, so I have to ask you, John McCain, you want to ask, you know, these liberal pinheads, I guess <laughs> that's your category. Um, <laughs> You're so kind. These illegal aliens, a lot of them are brutalized by these coyotes, these human smugglers, all right? And when they get here, they're exploited here. Um, so why would liberals oppose something that might cut that human trafficking down? Liberals, I don't know anyone who opposes cutting down human trafficking, who opposes cutting down violence. The question is, how do we do it? Sending 1,200 troops, which are really just show horses, to the border is not going to do that. These aren't even combat troops. These are people, these are support troops. These are people who are only there to appease the right. This is Obama being playing politics at its worst. That's okay, all so you think, I agree with you that 1,200 not going to do it. But as you said, heard me say, if I were president, which, of course, you would support, <laughs> oh, yeah. I'd send 10,000. And the reason that the 10,000... Oh, 10,000? 10, 10,000, you bet. Spread above... Uh, what, are you going to lay out states? IEDs along the border? I mean, I don't need IEDs. I, if I have 10,000 guard down there, that's an intimidating force. That intimidates. Well, say you're a cocaine dealer, and you kind of look like one a little bit. Um, <laughs> As do you. You look like, you look like a cocaine user. So <laughs> yeah, we're I, even. I'm too thin, I know. <laughs> I'm twitchy. Um, but say you're a cocaine dealer uh, or a heroin merchant, all right? And you're trying to smuggle across, and you know there's 10,000 National Guard on the other side of the border. Gabriel and I was born in Honduras. Uh, actually, I have a citizen brother and from the side of my dad. Thank God my dad became a citizen after five years being here the last month. Now I am as a U.S. resident, uh, and in three years I will gladly become a, a U.S. citizen. Um, dealing with immigration, don't you think this will be more as a discrimination or racism? And basically, the United States should be a country that. Uh, shows the world that racist is a bad thing for everybody. It's not like, about race, it's about culture. United States, it's believe about, it or not, it's one okay, of the countries besides, and, besides and the one of the <laughs> biggest country. United States is the country that has deal more with, the, with racism. And that's part of the discrimination. And uh, me, as question. a Latin Hispanic, okay. uh, we feel bad because of that. We support a lot of the United States economy. And basically, United States economy, it's because of Latin people. Okay, so do Okay, the answer. Now I'm talking. Um, no, that's I can continue. That's preposterous. Um, it's not about race. It's about culture and poverty. And culture collecting, is, is again, it's I was talking, of, man. Of races. I'm just gonna say you gotta read my book. This is very clearly dealt with, and the answer is you're not black. So drop the racism crap. Okay.